I gotta say though, it, it, it's so good when you know being at home and cooking in your own kitchen. It's really great when you can grab a packet and make some super ono food quick and easy. I know, a big fan of that. And you actually got to watch Raymond No demonstrate how easy it is to make your choice of poke. We're gonna get cooking right. in no time with Raymond No. Aloha, John. Welcome back to the kitchen. We're going to be doing our Hawaiian poke. So, so simple. This product is so popular. You can send this to friends all over the world, anywhere they are. They can make their own poke. Use fresh fish of any size, a salmon or tuna, of course, or anything that they have locally. Or you can also use a good firm tofu. If you want to do tro uh, tofu for poke. So we're going to show you how to do it. So you open it up, you take out the little bit of dry seaweed, you have a bowl of water, you drop it right in there. It goes the right whole thing, in. right in. Just drop it right the in. The whole thing. Yep. Give it okay. about 20, 30 seconds. It's going to rehydrate. Okay. In the meantime, I've got our cut cube ahi, fresh ahi. You can use fresh, frozen, whatever. It's cubed. It's ready to go. Bulky style. The other thing is I talked about is tofu. I like a good tofu pokey. So yep, me too. Here you go. You got to get a firm tofu because if it's too soft, it's not going to hold its uh, right. its uh, its texture. Quick. There's our there's our uh, tofu, firm tofu. It's all pokey cube, ready for being uh, mixed in with the pokey mix. So good tofu pokey. Same thing. Here's your cube fish. All right, it's already been pokey. Boom, right in the bowl. Okay. So, Johnny, now you take that ogo that you put in the water, take it out, cut it up into teeny little pieces. When that's all said and done, and uh, you take your you take your seaweed, your ogo, right? You sprinkle it in here. It's all finely chopped. It's all little pieces of ogo. Now you have your salt, your bulky salt, your mixture, right? Okay. Just mix it in there. It just mixes right in there. Put the whole bag in there. Then two tablespoons of sesame oil. And just mix it. Just mix it all in there. Just mix it all in there. Now the Hawaiian salt is still a little chunky, so you got to give it a little, a little time for it to dissolve. For garnish, we have some diced green onions. Okay. And there you go. There's your tofu pokey. I'm here in the kitchen with Roman and Ryder. And they're both smiling. Yeah, they are smiling. We're going to be making no foods Hawaiian iced tea. Listen, any day in Hawaii calls for a good, refreshing drink. Nothing more refreshing and healthy than no all-natural Hawaiian iced tea. John, it's so easy. You can make it. I can make it. And today, six-year-old Ryder is going to make it. Right, Ryder? Let's yes. do it, Ryder. So, very simple. One package of no Hawaiian iced tea to one quart of water. All right? And he's going to pour it all in there. That's one quart of water, one package of iced tea. Stir away. Make sure you get the bottom of the of the pitcher. All right, so that's simple, that easy to make. Ryder, six-year-old, made it, and we're gonna pour it in these nice little glasses. Ryder, one for Ryder, one for me. Don't forget. And Roman me. has the new Hawaiian iced tea in the can. Cheers, boys. All right. How's that taste, Roman? Good. It's so good, it's no good. It's it's so good, it's no good. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. I, I actually have enjoyed to tofu poke, and, um, you know, if you go to the supermarket, it's usually the packets that he's referring to, the no foods packets with the ogo and the salt mm -hmm. mixture. It's right there by the poke. It's usually on a little stand. Good stuff. I also use... Um, uh, I, I use that on both on the fish and tofu. I love the tofu. Mm -hmm. And I also drink the iced tea. I got to say, it, it's like, it's funny because, you know, you, you want to be able to say something logical about uh, about a product. Right. 
I actually do drink the iced tea super good. And for adults out there, here's a quick tip. Okay. That same iced tea for an adult beverage mixed with some uh, Malibu rum. Oh. oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Like a super good. Long Island iced tea or something like that. I wouldn't know. Man. I'm drinking water here, so I'm just going to have to take your word for it and get myself some Well, I'm no drinking... Tea. I'm drinking water too. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, coming up.